Welcome to PBC Northgate, Word of Faith session. We will listen to God's Word, meditate together, and pray, because the entrance of God's Word brings light to my body. I'm reading Micah chapter 6, verse 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. So he's saying here, Micah is one of the minor prophets. He is saying that there are some things God requires of us. So that we do that which is the right thing. Number one, to act justly. So being just is taking the right direction. Is not showing favoritism. It is being impartial. It is being decisive. Being just. That's what it is. And he says that um, you need to love mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall see God. What is mercy? Mercy, Nimoya Huruma. It's uh, empathy. You feel with the other person. And uh, you desire that their lot improves. So not only are you doing the right thing, but you're also doing it with passion and making sure that others feel you. And then he finished by saying number three, walk humbly with your God. The scriptures say when you are not humble, the proud, the Lord resists them. But the ones who are humble, the Lord lifts them up. So humility is a virtue. It is part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And we need to be humble in order to experience the work of God in our lives. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Humility is in there. You need to be waiting on God to see you through. Because if you lean on your own understanding, it's not sufficient. You'll get stuck. So we need uh, these three things. One, to be just, love what is the right thing, to have mercy, empathize, and to be humble. Uh, trust God to see you through. Believe that he will come and he will lift you up. The scripture said he has shown you what is good. What is this? Is to be just, to be merciful, and to be humble before God. Those who are humble before God, he will lift them up. The Lord opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourself therefore before the Lord, and he will lift you up, resist the devil, and he will flee. The devil does not flee because of who we are. He flees because of whom we are. When we are surrendered to Christ, then we put the devil to shame. So three things for you to walk uprightly, to do that which is right, is to be just, is to be a person who feels, who has mercy, and a person of humility. I don't know whether they can be graded one, two, three, whether there's an order. But I guess the humility is a big one because it's the one that brings you to activate God's power in your life. And then I would put being just in there as a number two. And maybe feeling with the others when they're in pain can be a number three. Mercy is described as one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. One of the speaking in tongues, interpretation of tongues. Mercy is mentioned, works of mercy are mentioned in there. So all three important and you need them to balance your life, your Christian life and to bear God much fruit. So what does it require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, to walk humbly with our God. It's my prayer that in this week that we are listening to this nugget. God will teach us to do these three things 
that give us right standing with him. Even as we remember, it's not a system of doing things. Yes, we are in a dispensation of grace, but in grace we do good. Bible says, if you have faith and it has no works, then it's dead. How to get the faith to work is through mercy, justice, and humility. Father, we thank you for allowing us opportunity to look at this scripture in Micah chapter 6 verse 8. There's a way, certain way in which you want us to behave. And I pray that we'll internalize this desire that you have and we we'll put it into practice. We'll become a people of humility. We'll become a people who are, uh, have mercy in their lives and a people who do that which is right and are just. So thank you for tuning in. The Lord bless you as you grow in this grace to the glory of his name. In Jesus' name we pray.